Alrighty guys, I built a silent compressor for my airbrush to paint scale models. This here is what I've been using. It's really small, pulsates, and loud. So I wanted something more quiet in the back bedroom and more consistent. So to get a true silent air compressor for airbrushing, the company that sells them are pretty expensive, so I decided to go ahead and build one. I built one about a year and a half ago, worked really good to about a couple weeks ago. The compressor locked up. Well, what I found out was, uh, talked to a refrigeration friend of mine, is uh, I used a dorm room refrigerator which was a 134a compressor that had poe oil well this is the newer version here and see what i do right here is i let the suction right here suck in through this homemade air filter and it goes in here and the compressor compresses the air goes into the tank well with the poe oil found out the was collecting moisture inside the compressor and eventually locked it up so he was telling me I need a, a mineral oil type compressor so I stopped at Johnstone supplies here in Evansville Indiana and I was talking to them and they came up with this uh, R12 compressor it's a one-fifth horsepower mineral oil holds 16 ounces it's been sitting on the shelf for over seven years so they made me a really really good deal on it so here is my finished product right here this is my suction it's going to pump the air through here this is a process port so if I ever need to put oil or anything in there this is where I can do that right below here was an air for an air cooler style so I went ahead and uh, looped them together this is my discharge coming out. This is a one-way check valve. Comes through here. There it does. Goes through here as pressure gauge. This right here is goes to a overloader. So when the compressor hits the correct pressure, shuts off, this overloader releases the pressure for the compressor. So next time it starts up, there's no load on it in this check valve stops it from pressure going back to the compressor so here is my pressure gauge I have it tuned in to come on at 110 psi we'll take that back I have it come on at 75 psi shut off at 110 so this is what it will sound like Let the power switch on. Shut the valve off. It's pretty quiet, isn't it? It's going to be great for the back room. You know, will not wake nobody or disturb anybody or anything up or blah, blah, blah. I'm thinking about later on is putting some kind of oil pour here or something, so a reservoir or something, somehow to see how much oil actually comes out before it goes into the tank, so I know. But I'm assuming uh, once a year I might uh, flush the compressor out and put 16 ounces of mineral oil. I don't airbrush a lot, but when I do airbrush, it can be days at a time for a couple hours each time. We're up to 80 pounds p PSI. So it's uh, accumulating faster. Oh, yes. And this is a one gallon tank it's setting on. Here in just a few seconds, you're going to hear that uh, compressor kick out and you're going to hear the overload release the pressure going to the compressor. There you go. 
that's my silent air compressor. Now if I allow the pressure down, let's get this pressure out slowly. When it hits 75 PSI, the compressor will start back up. There we go. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a good day. Appreciate it. Okay, guys. I went ahead and hooked up my airbrush equipment. Here's my uh, water collector and moisture collector and another pressure regulator that regulates the pressure to my airbrush. This is a Gear X airbrush. It's 0.3 millimeter needle. It's great for uh, scale models. So what I'm going to do temporarily right now is clamp this down. going to test this. Okay, what I'm going to have is this turned on, which we're there. We're going to set this about, about 45 here, but my airbrush is going to be about 15. Right there. Works great. Let me go get a little airbrush paint and a piece of paper and I'll be right back. Alright, I got just a little black primer here. So this is all we're going to do is just spray a little primer, test it. Yep, that's primer. Okay, so here, see. I'm not the greatest airbrusher, so. There we go, kicked right on. go that's the uh, airbrush thank you and you all have a good day